This is RFID based security system. In this whole project we implemented two layers of security. In first layer the user will go and it will swap any of these three colored RFIDs into the on top of RFID reader. So as soon as it will swap the RFID on the top of RFID reader microcontroller will check whether it is an authorized ID or not. If it is an authorized ID then we have installed two motors here. One motor will open the gate in a clockwise and then after a second or two seconds interval it will close and there is another motor on top of it. This is a small barrier and it will show it will first open the barrier then it will open the motor and then it will close the gate and then this barrier will stop. Apart from that in the second layer we have added a small magnetic read switch. This read switch is a second layer of security. If for example an intruder wants to enter into our office environment or home environment and it has break our RFID module. So through this magnetic read switch which is constantly monitored by microcontroller if it is open and nobody has uh, swapped any RFID then the system will start alarming the users. Now as far as our wiring or for example our power supply is concerned we have two input wires here. This is a small USB uh, wire that is most famous for Arduino microcontroller it plugs into USB port of the Arduino microcontroller here. Now this is micro USB wire that we have used to give power to our two motors that are installed here. As Arduino cannot deliver so much power to our two motors so that's why we have made another power supply and through that power supply this is basically a power supply so through this power supply we will manage everything. Now I'm going to connect these two wires and these two wires are connected to my uh, computer USB ports as you can see here. Now I will first connect my microcontroller to switch it on. So as soon as it is connected this small LED will start blinking and it will show here even in the microcontroller that it is operation and it is working fine. Now this small USB micro USB cable I will insert here for the motors so that the motors will get all the powers. So as soon as I plugged it in here you will see a small indicator here and through that it shows that the power is coming and now it is going to the our doors the two doors of the motors. Now I am going to display you an example of success. As soon as I swap this RFID this is success RFID and even this is success RFID so both of them are registered. But this RFID we didn't register so it is like uh, an intruder RFID or some vague RFID that somebody wants to use. Now as soon as I use the authorized RFID you will see that the door will open, the lock will open and then it will automatically close after a delay of 5 to 10 seconds. Now as soon as I am now my RFID swapping my RFID you will see the motor door will open after 5 second interval door will close and this will close. So this way we have authorized and uh, authorized user is entered into the system. Now in case if for example I am going to swap this RFID that is not registered the system will beep or give any sound and even this small indicator of blue LED it will blink as you can see here. Now in terms of our circuit if you see in our circuit this is an RFID module this is small buzzer this is a small bidirectional chip IC that we call L293D and this is bidirectional or H bridge you can say for controlling the direction of motors. Apart from that there are four LEDs this green is success LED if authorized entry is going to 
if some authorized person is going to swipe an RFID then this will blink that it is authorized and you can enter in case the blue LED will be for false or intruder and this one is the indicator for RFID whether it is reading some kind of a swipe for example if I am swiping this one it has automatically read it and now 